We're gonna crush an old school argument and open people's eyes to the future. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Oh, this is gonna be a good one today, all right? So uh, before I get started, I got an announcement. Boom! A hundred thousand subscribers like you guys are amazing so i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for hitting that subscribe button if you haven't yet please hit it like the videos if you like them and if you want us to teach on things you want us to talk about you just want to talk to us right put it down in the comments and you probably see it in a future vlog or you'll see me responding down there all right so we're lifting up the industry we're giving the vision you guys are getting the vision so it's a family it's a family all right so let's have a conversation right before i go out to my shop and we get going i just want to talk real quick all right so check this out this is a serious talk because there's a lot of people out there that are like commenting on CNC students. And there's a lot of students that are working hard and they're going after it. And then you have these guys who've been in the trade for a long time and they're like, you know, you can't learn fundamentals on a CNC machine. If they're just teaching you CNC, then you're just a button pusher. You're not a real machinist. And you know what? That's garbage, man. That doesn't lift up our trade. That doesn't advance us in any way. Right? That just puts down kids and people that are working hard to actually educate themselves. So I'm just going to take a moment and I'm going to speak to it. First, I'm going to say, I love manual machining. I respect it. I respect culture, where we came from. And the evolution of machines is amazing. And there's some crazy talented manual machinists out there. I will never give them anything but respect. We're going to talk about the future of education and how I believe that if you have manual machines and that's all you have, then that's great and work on them and train them. But if you have an opportunity to get on a CNC machine, get on it as fast as humanly possible because we need to up our game. All right. And if we're playing in the past, we're not going to up our game to the point of helping our companies compete in a global market. What I see in the industry and I go to the top schools, right? What I see in the industry is people starting at A and they work till K. Then students go out into the industry and then they learn the trade. And what I'm saying and what I'm doing differently is I'm not starting at A. I'm starting at K and going to Z and we're teaching the whole gamut, like all the variables, everything, how to make a part from concept to finished part and then make them through repetition so that you can become extremely efficient and then you can step up to five axis, you can step up to horizontal mills, you can step up to hard metals, steels, titanium, Inconel, Monel, right? You can step your game up and then go on to the aerospace series. A lot of schools out there are within their first year, they're doing manuals, then they go to CNC, then they're doing mediocre parts. Well, what I'm saying is if you follow our way of teaching, then you will actually on your second year be going to advanced fixturing and aerospace and you'll make incredible parts because these students are so intelligent. You just have to teach them the right way. And that's why we teach CAD, CAM, and CNC. So we need to up our game, teach advanced level stuff, so when kids get out of trade school, they know all the fundamentals, they've ran a million different parts, they're running off of datums, they're hitting tents, they're hitting hard metals, and they can get a job at SpaceX or Blue or even Toyota or wherever. And when they walk on the floor, they deserve money because they can solve problems. So now let me go run over to the shop I'm gonna have a conversation with somebody that can speak directly to this. Oh man, you guys know my son Tyson, right? So check out this uh, chess set. What's it made out of? 6A04V titanium. Titanium, a lot of you guys saw it over at the can of metal booth at IMTS and uh, my son actually programmed all those pieces, right? And uh, you create titanium a lot. Yeah. A lot of, what other materials do you run? Titanium. Do aluminum, titanium, Inconel, you know, 
Monel, I've done H286, Monel, Monel, all of it, right? Monel's fun. <laughs> a lot of a lot of titanium though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything. I mean, aside from aluminum, I think I'm most comfortable running titanium. Yeah. And that's what you like grew up on. Yeah. Right. Because that's what you've been making. A lot of aerospace parts. Like looking at uh, everybody's favorite rocket company. Mm -hmm. Not mentioning the name, but like looking at everybody's favorite rocket company. And how many parts do you think you made for that company? Oh, geez, I, I don't even know. <laughs> thousands <laughs> I mean, and thousands, right? Yeah. Crazy amount of parts and stuff, which gives you the experience to actually teach our kids how to actually make chess pieces. Therefore, they learn how to run a live tool lathe, mm -hmm. right? So, you've never been on a manual machine? No, I. I've only seen it in pictures, really. <laughs> you're lying. No. You're lying. No. Are you serious? I'm serious. You don't, no, you're you don't, lying. We don't have one. <laughs> ah, dude. So that must mean that you don't know fundamentals. It's set up. Yeah. So, <laughs> exactly, right? So you put chucks on, you take chucks mm -hmm. off, you indicate material, you indicate tools, yeah, you dude. put tools in holders and indicate them. You can indicate things to tents, right? You yeah. make crazy surface finishes, four to eight finishes, deep in that, pockets. Get that off the machine looking beautiful. Looking beautiful, right? Everything, like from the start and finish, from conception, you can design parts, you can program parts in multiple CAD cams, you can program at the machine, you can run small, big, medium, all industries, everything. Yeah. 100%. And, and nobody has to come over here and hold your hand or tell you how to do anything. No, I pretty much run the whole lay department, so. Yeah, so that's my point. So when people say that you have to run manual or you're just a button pusher, it's simply not true. Because on a CNC, you can hear the tool, right? On the CNC, you can touch it and you can feel the vibration and you can back off the pressure or engage depending, right? And, and a CNC doesn't just go up to 3,000 RPMs. A CNC actually goes up to, you know, 15, 20,000 RPMs and more depending. So you have a way wider range, right? So I can literally, you've seen me, like I've almost jumped like Superman over tables because I hear something before a tool is about to break when it's halfway across the shop and I'll get there before somebody else who has less trained ears, right? When we were doing aerospace stuff, there's lots of problem solving and things that we'd have to do and you weren't always there to help me out all the Absolutely. time. So there's a lot of stuff I had to figure out on my own, like how to get rid of chatter on this part that has a four finish on it or, you know, trying to cut down the cycle time on something that's due in the next week, so. And how to, how to actually take a part that has a perfect surface finish, mm -hmm. flip it over into pie jaws or, or however to hold it not to like distort it mm -hmm. and then be able to machine it to print perfect so we can ship it yep. right every day and you hold, need holding tolerances you know plus three tenths minus nothing on an od or something exactly and uh metrology just gd and t you know reading blueprints just all of it you know how to run the saw yeah you know how to run grinders grinding tools but you've learned it at the shop over time and through repetition, mm -hmm. therefore you became efficient, right? Now, this is something that I wanna explain. I can't speak for everybody's program, but the reason that we are doing Titans of CNC Academy is because there is no advanced national curriculum or standards for five axis or, or horizontal mills or fixed string, right? So we're coming in to fill that gap to teach our students so that they can be pillars in shops, therefore all can compete, all can make money, and we can keep machining parts right here instead of seeing them get outsourced. And if you're in England or Australia, the same thing. You can machine them in your own backyard instead of outsourcing them, all right? Because you got the talent and the skills. I will also say that our curriculum, we've turned things upside down. So we don't teach you forever to get you to a CNC and then basically scare you 
and then take our time. We get you on a CNC within days. We have you design a part first day. We have you program a part first or second day. We have you simulate it. We teach you how to actually set up the machine. We go through a whole checklist and basically have you machine a part that you watched in the computer within like a couple days, three days, yeah. right? And then we have you do another one, and 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 another one. And at the same time, we teach you how to inspect it. You know, people say, oh, you don't learn fundamentals in, in CNC machining. Wait, what? Like what? You have to stone your table. Just like a manual, you have to stone your vise. You have to put it on top. You gotta indicate it, you gotta put stops on. You gotta put your chuck on. You gotta you orientate your material and put it in absolutely perfect. You have to do all the things, like all of them, that you have to do on a manual, except you have way more options, right? You have way more options. So we make parts start to finish, design, CAD, CAM, and CNC. We get you in, and after a year when a lot of people are moving from manuals to CNC, we're moving from building blocks and rocket up to fixturing and five axis so we can get you to aerospace. So it is my belief that if you teach these students correctly, you can actually get them coming out running aerospace parts, hitting crazy tolerances off the datums, hitting crazy surface finishes and producing these parts in hardened materials because it's how you teach them, all right? And that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And my son's helping. He does all the lay tutorials. We're creating tutorials that teach you the trade from the very beginning and teach you all the fundamentals. If you don't know that we teach fundamentals, go to academy.titansofcnc and go up to the fundamental section and you'll see a whole bunch of videos and it keeps getting stacked, right? That's right, you got a bunch of lathe ones coming soon. Bunch so. of lathes coming soon and even when it comes to the lathe tooling, the can of metal tooling, you go over every single tool, mm -hmm. how to set the insert, how to zero it, how to like all of it, everything. Yeah. And everybody learns for free. Boom. Boom. So again, I'm not dogging manual. This isn't against manual machining. This is just saying that if we have the ability to fight for our kids and teach them something that is amazing and help them raise their game so they can come at this level instead of this level, then why are we teaching them the same thing that we did 30 years ago? We're bringing something new, something different, something that works, and the academy is changing people's lives and shops all over the country and world are taking these students in and learning something different and we are just getting started. All right, Tyson, thank you for helping me argue my case. <laughs> of course, all right, boom, boom, CNC machining, we love it. Boom.